Willem says he's adamant he is going nowhere and he has the support of many residents. They say a lot of positive changes have been happening in the town since he took over and they want the DA to keep their hands off. I mean, they, they uh, disciplined Mark uh, and Councillor Peter Myers uh, yeah, a year ago, um, <clears throat> claiming that uh, they had violated party rules by uh, voting their conscience to remove the then mayor. Uh, but that disciplinary proceeding uh, ended in a decision in Mayor Mark's favor. Uh, so he was essentially exonerated. Um, but they, that, that wasn't enough for them. They wouldn't give up. With the legal action looming, the DA is choosing to stay mum about the issue. Look, the matter is sub judicare. I mean, uh, you might be aware that uh, the DA um, submitted um, a letter to Mark Vellums uh, informing him that uh, he has ceased to be the member. Uh, he's now challenging that in court, and I think. Uh, I must respect that particular process and as I said the matter is up to decay. I don't want to get into the details of the matter. We will, you know, allow the process to take its course. An independent political analyst says with the current turmoil within the party, this could tarnish their reputation further. The DA promised people democracy. They promised people the ability to speak your mind. They promised people a different kind of leadership. But at this point in time, they are behaving in exactly the same way that they consistently accuse the ANC of behaving, which is to not allow any dissent and to not allow any opposition and basically killing democracy within their own internal structures. The ANC in the Southern Cape has also defended Willemse, saying only the local council can remove him from his position. Tanya Krause. SABC News, Naisna.